every single one of them suffered some conflict and trauma. And so we now, there, of course now, the, the, the advances we've made in, in helping people have an emotional peace and resolution are amazing and they can move forward with their life. And I, I can tell you story after story. And you do actually do that in your clinic? Yes. As a matter of fact, tell them where your clinic is before I forget. Yes, well my clinic for the cancer side is Cancer Center for Healing and then we have Center for New Medicine for patients who just want to get healthy or optimized or they have some mysterious illness that no one can figure out. So we take care of patients with to cold, to cancer, or just to be optimized. And by the way, it's one of my favorite places in the whole world. Yes, and the good of yeah. I love it. Uh, Orange County, Orange County is we great. The, and, uh, I, love, I love that area. So we had that conversation before you all came on. Okay, so you know, do you think it's part of a perfect storm? Because I, I think when we look at, you know, there was always emotional conflicts, I mean, all the way back through history, right? That's right. I mean, and some emotions more, some traumas even more with wars and horrific things, but yet cancer is exploding. Is it a perfect storm? What's happening? Why is it exploding the way it is? Well, lots of different reasons, and we talked a lot about that. Uh, I spent five hours talking about that to doctors yesterday, and uh, we, we talked about emotion, and, and I think, unfortunately, there's a lot more emotional turmoil because we have deterioration of family. So the family unit is, is, is being lost, and um, so the stress that, because I have so many young people, I have 20 year olds, 22 year olds, 23 year olds, very young people who have a very serious form of cancer. And so I believe that that, that, that connectedness, the, the complete what, disintegration of the family, I mean, for, I'm not the only person that talks about it, lots of people talk about it. I'm one of six kids, so back then, a long time ago, though, that we all hung out together all the sure. time, and we hung out with nature all the time. Now, kids are isolated, they're on video machines or cell phones and all these other things. Now, we talk about the other causes of cancer. Our, our food uh, has, dr has dramatically changed. Uh, we have a lot of genetically modified food. The nutritional values of the food has changed quite a bit. We have overwhelming toxicity, from toxic water to chlorine to fluorine to heavy metals to irradiated food to everything in the air, water and food that you eat, there is toxicity. You go into a new building and you have a new building sick syndrome. So, and then we have uh, problems with the mouth. A lot of people, a lot of doctors forget about that the mouth is connected to the body. And, and, and we have now uh, so much research that shows that heart disease and cancer is related to infections or root canals in the mouth. It's one of the first places that I look uh, when I evaluate somebody who's mysteriously not getting well or sick right here. We're gonna be interviewing Dr. Tom Levy, so stay tuned for that in an upcoming show. You know, uh, toxins, traumas, and thoughts, you know, when you talk about the family unit, that's where when you have a good family unit, we're developing thoughts, positivity, that love like you talked about, and toxins, traumas, thoughts, when you put those three together, it's a perfect storm. Science shows that affects our DNA, that affects the proteins we make, that affects who we become and who we are, and that's what you're seeing today. Right. Well, I tell people, we now know that emotional DNA is inherited nine generations Absolutely. back. Absolutely, yeah. So, so and, 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 and I don't want people to think like, oh gosh, I'm not a good person, I'm bad, etc. It's not that. He has problems, I've had problems. I've been working on myself for, for years now yeah. because it takes years. I heard another doctor yesterday. It does take years. So does the detox, by the way, the emotion. Cancer, do cancer doctor talked yesterday. He says, I started four years ago looking at my emotional balance. He takes care of cancer patients for 28 years. And I decided probably 15, 16 years ago to start detox. I call it purification. Oh, detox, every patient looks at you like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? So I say purification, they think you're an angel. And so, but but I, I but the emotional part, I really started probably, like really hard. I mean, I know I was 40 when I started, but then I really, really delved in probably about seven years ago, but it's been a process. Everybody thinks health is an event. It's not uh, an event. So glad this you said that. is a process. So don't think you're just going to get yourself well in a day or right. two, and you're going to go on this eating program. And you're going to do that. No, 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 no. And it's a way of life. 
And don't be too hard on yourself. You're gonna eat a cookie, or you're gonna eat a piece of chocolate, or you're gonna eat something, and then you're gonna like, oh my God, you beat, you beat yourself up. No, 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 no. We no. call that feast days. We're good with that. Yeah, okay. exactly. Fun days. <laughs> That's right. right. So, so, so it, it's a process, and it's also an evolving process. So, it's self mastery takes a long time. And if you've got it all figured out, then you don't need to be here. Yeah, you know, it's I'm not the expert in the emotion stuff, but yet I recognize it. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm the expert in chemical detox, which you use cyto detox. You're a big fan of cyto detox, which they all know. Um, but the emotional stuff, you know, you have to put it all together, you know, like I said, if you're not addressing all of those, and here's the thing that frustrates me on my end, oh, I, I detoxed heavy metals, or I did detox two months, three months, <laughs> it's a process, you know, my goal is to teach you the process so you continue, no different with the emotional stuff, right, in our right. thoughts, you know, we have to keep that progression going if we're going to beat the odds. Let's talk about, I want to talk about what you do in our clinic because, well, first of all, let me, let me back up because I think about the viewer right now is saying, well, wait a minute, you know, first of all, what tests can I get done if I want to make sure I don't have cancer, prevent cancer? So what testing is good or what testing even if you, you have cancer? So let's start with tests and then I want to talk about some of the things that you're doing in your clinic that are completely different that they need to know about. Okay, well, that, that's a testing. great question. That's a great question because I tell people, if a doctor's not testing, he's guessing. And so we do lots of investigative uh, work. And so let's let's talk about that. So a lot of my patients today now, because cancer is in about one in two men and 41% of females, I tell people it is a national emergency. Absolutely. We, prevention never sells, because people think, well, I feel great. It doesn't late. sell. It I never sells. I, no, no one no, thinks no. I'm going to be the one. And you would believe how many patients go, gosh, Dr. Keenan, I was running six miles a day. I live life. I did this. I did that. I feel great. And then all of a sudden, their life changed. Oh. One second changed yeah. their life. I don't want you to be that. I want you to have the peace and comfort of knowing, like, look, I've gone to a doctor. I know. But people don't realize Cancer takes 10 years to develop. Absolutely. By, it's seen, by the time it's seen, by an ultrasound, an MRI, a CT scan, or a PET scan, okay? Oftentimes, it doesn't have symptoms. It's insidious disease. Yeah. Not, you know? not even fatigue. Right. I mean, people have to say because you can feel perfect and be developing cancer right now, only to come out five, 10 years from now. Exactly. So, yeah. And so even heart disease, because the top two Same. killers are heart disease and cancer. So when I see a patient, I make sure you don't have those two problems. The third is probably doctors. So, so <laughs> that's not probably so. It is, so well, no, because the, the doctor of today, they're really smart and brilliant, but they have to learn the new modern way of taking care of Absolutely. patients. And so I have gone back to school because what I learned in school. Can you imagine? Would you use a cell phone that came out thirty years ago? No, you you're going to use the cell phone that does a million different things. You mean right? like the ones that look like little bricks? Yeah, no boxes. Yeah, it's okay, I'm older than you. I'm into boxes, so it was a huge box and, yeah. and, and set. I remember the brick. I, that's the one I remember. It was like this fat, that high. Oh no, no, mine was way bigger. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Anyway, okay. so, so they were strapped on walls. So, but actually. I always use that analogy. Like, would you use an old cell phone? I would. I don't use. I use a great little cell, new, you know, cell phone. So you would too. So why wouldn't you use the new modern way of cancer? And guess what? Medical knowledge is doubling about every nine months. Okay, I can't even keep up. That's why I have an amazing team. You go to this conference, you go to this one, you go learn this, you, and then we collaborate together because united we, we can deliver. So if you go into my clinic, and a lot of patients come to me, like Dr. Haley, my mom had cancer, my sister had my brother, my, you know, all these people had cancer. I want to make sure I don't have cancer. So first of all, I do a, 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 all the blood tests on you because let's face it, I need to make sure that everything's good, not just that you don't have cancer, but I want to make sure, is your liver working, your kidney working, do you have high sugar, do you have good vitamin D levels, do you have inflammation, does your thyroid work, do all the other hormones work, because hormones are the natural drugs, everybody thinks hormones, oh my god, I'm going to get cancer, no, hormones are the natural drugs in your body, and so are you toxic, are you nutritionals, or do you have the right nutrition, do you have the right antioxidants? What does your gut look like? Do you have bacteria? Do you have fungus? Do you have parasites? What does your mouth look like? So I go through an exhaustive list, and obviously this is not accomplished in one visit, but if you want to be well, I need to address you from head to toe, not just 
your heart, not just, I'm, I zone in, I'm, I'm your quarterback for making sure that everything is working. So 